previously. The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Bassan's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Slide to Band of Thieves. Band of Thieves. And we are gonna go ahead and start on the next episode, which is called Menace in the North A. So, it's back in Canada, another episode in Canada. Maybe we'll finish Things off. Things just weren't right up in Canada. Job is on. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds, and the Northern Lights, well, they just weren't right. One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Bassan and his mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Bassan's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. The Thievius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Bassan could clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Those talons have got to go. Both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. The Sly Cooper and the gang in Menace from the North A. Eh? Alright, it's good to be back in Sly. I haven't played in a while. So it feels good being back. And yeah. Let's just start with the um, first quest, which is probably going to be some recon. Okay, so here's what we know. One, Arpeggio's blimp is on its way to pick up a battery from Jean Bisson. And two, the only way we'll get a crack at Arpeggio's clockwork brain is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blimp. But before we do that, we'll need to snag the clockwork talons off Jean Bisson. Time is short, we've got a lot to accomplish. True. True, but first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cane. It can now separate into two smaller canes. Useful for ice climbing. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button to dig in. Jump and hit the circle? What they were talking about? Such a hard move. Okay, anyways. Uh, let's look at this wall here. Okay. Jump, circle, and we have two canes. Awesome. Time to get up here and do some recon. Oh, hey there, Mr. Guard. That should be the end of it. That's the first clue battle in this level. Okay. It's good to see my cane upgrade perform so well in the field. Now scout the area. I could really use the reconnaissance. Okay, time to do some pictures. That's always the first quest on the level. Kind of boring, but uh, it has to be done. I'll start by this one. Can I make this jump? Yeah! Be sure of a boat. Why not? Fascinating! My sensors detect a Wi Fi link to that boat! It must be piloted by computer! Ah, okay. Yeah, this level is. I think this level is kinda cool. It's one of the better ones. And especially the last mission. Is a lot of fun. And the last boss fight is also a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm supposed to go over it. Okay. Oh, come on, I was jumping. Wait. Wait. Am I supposed to take a picture of John Bison's house? Okay. John Bison's house. The lair of the beast. The dead of evil! 
the epicenter of ecological destruction. <laughs> Time to run. Sweet. Now I just need to get over here somehow. Nice. And I need to get on top of here. Somehow. That was close. How the fuck am I supposed to get? Nice. And then up again. And how do we do that? Up here, of course. And even further up, we'll use this thing. Oh, I should take a picture. Ah, of course. Can I just. Perfect. Those saw blades look particularly old. I guess this logging camp has been around for a while. Nice, okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Uh, the last one is. Over, where are Oh, it's a bear. Okay, I need to get closer. Eh, uh, fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Climbing shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, good night to you. Bear. There you go. This place is bear country, alright. Interesting. He's putting out a slight radio signature. Okay, hmm. that should do it. Now for the real point of interest. Head for that lighthouse and try to find yeah. a way to sneak in. Crap, I was gonna steal. Then it noticed me. God damn it. He had something shiny on him. Guess I'm supposed to go over here. Here, maybe? Nice. And like so. Am I supposed to go in? Okay. Okay, I see. In here. Roger. Nice. Oh, there's the man himself. Battery charger. That's the battery charger, but where is the battery arpeggios coming to pick up? He's not talking or doing anything. Fuck. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Just looking at that spinner makes me dizzy. Front door. I was right. It's the blocked. Is barred from the inside. Might as well get a shot of old John Bison. Maybe. Okay. He's probably gonna, gonna say something. Something interesting. Himself. Yeah. Come on, John. You got it in you. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? What would attract the participants? Bullseye! I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is. Yeah. Head back to the safe house. We need to talk about these lumberjack games. Yeah, that's the that's the heist, and that's the yeah, the end the uh, mission is the lumberjack games, and that's well, guys, fun. Jean Bisson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. With the Clockwork Talons as a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his Lumberjack games. Fortunately, due to frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. I'm sure it will prove invaluable. Now we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. However, the location of the device is still a mystery. We need some inside information. So, working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. 
Despite his antique mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house, steal the radio tags off local bears, and then jerry-rig them into a sensor array. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Let's get to work! Yeah, these are some hard quests. I'm gonna start with the the one I think is gonna be the funnest one. Um, I think it's Murray, yeah, RC Comet Club, and then we're gonna do... Yeah, one of the sly ones after. Well, I'm only gonna have time for one in this episode, so that's gonna be a merry one. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna have time to complete it. Uh, but it's gonna be fun, this one. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to complete it in this episode. Rumor has it that several off duty guards meet in that cabin for an RC combat club. This is going to be great. I haven't been in any RC combat since that job we pulled in Istanbul. It was awesome. Fight me, bitch. Okay, uh, maybe I should try to land on that thing. Maybe I should try that again. Perfect, perfect. And here's a few guards. Yeah, just run and done. I like how they have a fucking moose head here. Like they are mooses themselves. <laughs> That's just fucking ridiculous. Sly, if you can get the stuffed moose head without being detected, Murray should be able to join the RC Combat Club without raising any suspicion. Alright, I remember this is being kinda hard when I was a kid because it's so hard to find like the entrance up. I'm not sure how to do that. Uh, that's a large gem. Can I kill this guy? Nope, I can't. <sighs> Fuck up already. Okay, so someone we have to get up. Um, I think probably. I guess I was on the right way. Something over here. Yeah, yeah, of course. Finding this as a kid is a fucking pain in the ass. Uh, let's just start by going here. And I can't kill any guards. Okay, does he have anything shiny? Yes, he has. Sweet. Medium gem. I can sell that for a few dollars. Okay, not bad. Run a bit. Ah! Wait. Now. Like so. And here's pretty much the same thing. Just wait a few seconds and then jump. It's a little easier. Why did, Why is this place full of traps? Well, it's kind of like a sawmill. Crap. Yeah, okay, no. Does he have... No, he doesn't have anything. Uh, now what? Here? And then here... Oh! Okay, I'm... I should be done now. Just in here and climb under the table. Down here and the head is mine. Nice. Murray, heads up. Okay, I don't remember it being that easy. Hey fellas, any of you guys think you can beat the mur the, the moose? Maybe put a bet on it. Oh, I'm in, eh? I ain't got a lot of money for this wager, but there's no way I'd lose to a new guy like you, huh? <laughs> it's that is that Canadian accent?
Starch, awesome starch. Yeah, mm. yeah. I'm kind of fucked. I'm kind of fucked to say the least. Can I get a move on here? Do I have any boots at all? Oh Jesus, I'm fucked. This is hard. Come on. This thing is impossible to control. Okay. Let's try this shit again. Maybe I can finish it in this episode. Who knows? That's a hit. Come on, I need a demo. Some more ammo. Perfect. That's perfect. Ah, good enough. Okay, I'm empty. I'm empty. I'm empty. I'm empty. I'm empty. I guess I get three shots when I pick up one of these. Yeah. Should be going down now. Perfect. You won, eh? But I ain't got no money. That might be okay. It all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not you know the location of the Northern Light Battery. Oh well, I guess I owe ya. Right, we got the location, and the mission is complete, or the job is complete. Alright, time to end this episode a little long, because of the mission, and we have to do the intro of the level and all that stuff, uh, but anyways, I'll see you in the next one, and thanks for watching, goodbye.